As a man on the move, Dr. Abdullah hardly finds any time to spend at home. Not wanting to miss out on any action, I decide to join him in the election frenzy. As we travel in the big red bus, the love and the support of young people, of old, of men, women, and their children of the villages is on complete display as they pour out on the roads to get a glimpse of their much-loved leader. Why do you think the youth has such a great connection and a great warmth and love for you? Because they know that this party is the one that gave them the voice, that they were they didn't have anything. Today they're the owners of this land, masters of this land. Today they've got education, right up to the village. They are MAs and PhDs and doctors, which is a very big thing. And this is the hope they have. But here is the party that has given them this. Salam alaikum, salam alaikum, salam alaikum. What advice would you give to the young people of Kashmir who have come out here today to support you? We have to tell them that we are fighting for a secular India, where all religions will have the same right, rather than the BJP manifesto, mm -hmm. where they think only one religion will be supreme. We are telling them that we are going to build an India which is free for all, and there is no difference between one religion and the other. That is what they are hoping for. Is uh, Rahul, as a young leader of the Congress, also a big factor here as well? Yes. yes. One day, out of them will be the ones who will lead the state. And someday, it will be a young man from here who may be the member of parliament or a minister in government of India. The enthusiasm and the energy is overwhelming and endearing. I think I'll have to go and dance with them and move with them. Yes, I'm sure. Otherwise they will not move. You stay on the bus. I will go and dance with them. But they will not move. We can see that Mr. Farooq Abdullah is very connected to the people. He's an unconventional politician who is very dynamic and very charismatic. And we can tell with, uh, you know, this road show as a car moves at turtle's pace, as we are in this Jeep, which is actually not moving at times, that he is much loved and adored by this people and by the state of Jammu and Kashmir. You stay here. Okay. I'll go down. With over 35 years in politics, the energy and the enthusiasm of the crowd is overwhelming and endearing. In Dr. Abdullah's own words, the entire state is his family. And that is clearly evident when he starts to manage his own event. And one of the first things that we saw that Dr. Abdullah did as soon as he walked in was to remove all the barriers to bring the people closer the women and the young people that had gathered so that they could come closer to the stage. What brought that on? I think it's a great thing that we see for the women coming out in such large numbers shows how they feel that we can contribute for their future. And you have seen for yourself the excitement in them, the desire in them, and that is what frightens me at times. 
I hope I come to their expectation and I deliver. We can see that uh, there are lots of women that have come out and we can see the love and affection that they have. Uh, you know, for Dr. Abdullah, it's almost as if he is a father figure to them. With his endless energy, he could probably keep on going. But the last campaign stop for the day is back in Sirinagar, near the Hazrat Bal Shrine. We can see that people have come out again in thousands to see him and the love and the affection for him continues to be endless. There are women that have gathered in their balconies to get a glimpse of him. Other women have lined the streets with their babies to be able to say Salaam Alaikum. And there are so many people that have come just to shake his hand. His energy and enthusiasm seems to be endless. He is a charismatic and dynamic speaker who continues to wow the crowds after all of these years and after a very long day.